tonight, a closer look at the accused and what appears to be a twisted family dynamic. The sheriff tells us the abuse came to light after one of the brothers shared information while confiding with his pastor. The man, now in his 20s, we're told, came clean to investigators. The adults through all of this, John and Anita Jackson, face charges. Detectives say they knew what was happening inside their home and didn't do anything. Their sons ranging in age from 18 to 27 are charged with sexually abusing a girl from the time she was four until she turned 14. Without the confession, it's a family secret that may have stayed buried for years. Ten of your sides, Liz Palka talked to the pastor who convinced one of the Jackson boys to come forward. She joins us now from outside the jail where all of them are being held tonight. Liz? Well, Nicole, the Jackson family lived here in Perquimans County a long time. From what we understand, most have moved out of the area. Three of the brothers moved to Wake Forest, North Carolina, and that is where the oldest of the six suspects realized what had happened to the victim was very wrong. He really wanted the things in the family to be healed because the family had problems. Elder Dan Horn recalls the first time Eric Jackson came to him at his church in Wake Forest, North Carolina. He told me even then that there were some things going on at home that he couldn't talk about, but he hoped to talk that he could talk to me about it at some point in time. Eric and his two other brothers, John, Mark, and Matthew, had moved to a town outside of Wake Forest. Horn said the three were attending church and had developed a new relationship with God. About nine months later in, in December of 2012, he came to me and said that he had gotten permission from his father. Horn said Eric needed permission from his father to talk about what had been happening for years inside their Chappanoke Road home. This is the house where the Jacksons lived, and it's where the Perquimans County Sheriff says a teenage girl was sexually assaulted since she was four or five. The suspects, the six brothers. The victim is known to the family. However, it is 10 on your side's policy not to release the identity of a sexual assault victim. Horn says Eric confessed to it all. That's when his pastor told him he'd need to turn himself in. He needs to confess his sin and, and make restitution in ways that he can. And one of the ways that he could was to, to go confess this to the authorities so that, so that the things that were happening in his house could be stopped. Horn said he and Eric drove to Perquimans County, where he told a detective everything. Horn was also there as Eric, John, Mark, and Matthew turned themselves in last week. That was the first one that I know of that was revealed outside the family. And so I think that was where he had the burden lifted, if you will. Horn told us he had two conversations with Eric Jackson about the assaults. He said after that first meeting with him, Horn took it upon himself to call the Perquimans County Sheriff's Office and report the assaults and basically turn the family in. He said it is the law that if an adult knows about the sexual assault on a child, that they report it, even if you're a pastor. He said he was honest with Eric about that. And a few days later, when they met again, is when they decided to drive to Perquimans County and have them turn themselves in. Live outside the Albemarle District Jail, I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side. And the six brothers and their parents will be formally charged in court Monday. Liz also sat down with the sheriff, Eric Tilly, who talked about the investigation. Our producers are working right now to post that entire interview for you on wavy.com.